Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared and here we have Honey Badger. But Honey Badger has recently, recently came out with something we've all been wanting for a long time. They came out with a way for you to upgrade your Honey Badger with G10 scales. Now they also give you the tool, which I really do appreciate, that they like you to take apart your knives, maintain your knives, and basically make them your own. Now you can see what Kara did with this one. She got the back spacer, and you know, they, they have so many different options with these between basically any blade chip you could ever want, um, Three different sizes between small, medium, and large. This one would be a large one. Choil, choil-less. As you can see, this one has the choil on it. Nice jimping, too, on the choil. Makes it nice and grippy. I really like that. But the G10 scales and the new Tonto version. Now... The G10 scales come, they have eight different colors and they do sell the scale separately. So if you already have a model, you can just buy whatever color G10 scales you want for your honey badger. They do have one that's already pre-set up, which is in DLC, it's a DLC coded Tonto with JG10 scales. So lots of different options here. You can basically have whatever type of version you want with the honey badger from every different blade shape different sizes and yeah i think that's awesome now the honey badger itself these things have incredible action and they are very very affordable the reverse flick is super good the way they have this big giant hole and they have the chamfer around the edge gives you a good push off point whether it's your reverse flick or the thumb flick access to the lock bar lots of access there so very easy to disengage and then it's very smooth on the drop with the bearings the flipper tab has a solid detent so as soon as you deploy it this thing comes out flying great action i've always appreciated the action on the honey badger you know especially for the price you're getting premium action on a very very affordable knife now this one is an 8CR, but they have them also in D2. So um, you don't have to go with the 8CR one. These ones are gonna be a little bit more affordable because it is more of a budget steel. But if you do want a bit more edge retention, you can go with the D2 version. So really awesome that they're doing this now. This G10 is done extremely well. They have eight different colors. The G10 offers good traction. This one has a white backspacer. They actually did put this one together for me. Um, now the Tonto version, um, you can see here that it has a dual grind. Now I might do a sharpening video on this thing because I, I thought about, maybe, maybe not, but you could sharpen it just the way they did with a regular edge bevel, but you technically could lower your angle back and sharpen this entire bevel up there if you really wanted to and put a zero grind up there. Just a thought, you know, but, um, very very cool and like i said i love how they they give you the tool and they, they you know they basically um you know they want you to 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 upgrade your knife and uh make it your own and you know maintain it and stuff the deep carry clip goes extra deep carry it falls right behind the the scale on both sides so you can reverse the clip and then the the screws are inset they're countersunk, so there's nothing going to be in the way. The clip works great on these, and it's very comfortable in the hand. Super duper comfortable. I don't even feel the clip barely, if at all. Now, you know, if they didn't have all the other blade shapes, including blade shapes with the finger choil, I would complain about the, the sharpening choil and plunge grind. You know, you can already see it's creating a smile right there. But I can't complain about it because they offer, you know, the choil. So you have the option for a sharpening choil, um, or sorry, finger choil, which works great as a sharpening choil as well. This one's been sharpened, I couldn't even tell you how many times. So... Um, and this one is the smaller version, as you can see, a lot smaller than the large one, but then they have the medium size as well. 
So lots of options with the Honey Badger. I'm gonna link everything I can down in the description for you guys. Um, this is a great way, or a great budget knife that's very affordable, but um, has a premium feel to it. Now before, the FRN was what kind of held it back from feeling even more premium because, you know, FRN, you know, it's very affordable. They are very tough, you know, and reliable scales, but they just have a plastic feel. G10, you know, has to be machined and it, it does offer a, a more premium feel to it, you know, and that's something I do appreciate with my knives. So very, very cool. I'm very happy that they did this. And, and a lot of people have honey badgers. So now this makes it to where you can take your old honey badger, give it a little facelift and make it feel a little bit more premium. Man, that reverse flick is so good. Even for lefties, man, because you have an even bigger opening on that side because of the lock bar um, cutout. Such a good knife for right-handed or left-handed people. Um, but yeah, um, I do also like how the Tonto kind of drops down there. So if you really want to use the tip, yeah, you still have to lift up high, but you do have the secondary tip as well. Nice swedge on top of the spine. Jimping on the scale and on the blade. Give you some more traction. Very cool. So there you guys go. Like I said, I will link everything down in the description. And we might possibly be doing a little Tonto sharpening video here coming soon. Love you guys. Peace.